Looks like a storm's blowing in. A storm of educational fun with the Scientific Explorer Tornado Maker. And you know what that means, right? It's time to science up. All right, let's do this. It's science time. Ben and -an 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 science time. It's science time. We're doing science, baby. It's science time. Woo! Let's find out what's in the box. I like it already because it totally looks like a Margaritaville frozen concoction maker. Someone needs to send me one of those to review. This isn't even instructions, it's just a whole book about how tornadoes work. I've seen Twister, I understand how tornadoes work. Let's make our own. Let's take off the cloud. Which I would know what kind of cloud it was if I actually did read that little book that came with it. Okay, so it's like a blender with a little plastic spoon in the bottom, rather than, uh, you know, metal blades. Then to create realism, we put in these little pogs that one of them has a cow, one of them has a tractor, and this one is a pig that's much bigger than the cow. Do I dip them down so they sink? I guess they don't sink. You know how buoyant tractors are. Kick it up to one. I'm learning about tornadoes. The sound just keeps going, huh? No, no off switch on the sound, eh? Okay. One, not much going on. Let's kick it up a notch. Uh-oh. Things are heating up here. Uh-oh. Okay, I can look in the little window on top and see. I'd show you, but it might make a mess. No, 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 not worth it. Okay. Oh, this is category four. It's funny because the little things you're given are supposed to show you what it looks like when these things float around inside of a tornado, but it seems like the cow's just spinning like a dreidel and the tractor and pig are just hanging out together floating. All right, this is as hard as it goes. This is a real tornado here, baby. Hmm. Let's mess with these little things. I don't like how they're behaving. All right, without them. Oh, that's way better without those. Ah, there's a vortex. I can put my finger. Oh, I guess I can't put my finger in a vortex. It's pretty sciencey. I guess I didn't need this protective cloud, but we'll see. Let's turn it down a little bit. These things seem to screw it up. Done with these. Oh, that's pretty cool now. Huh. <laughs> this thing's pretty cool. Let's kick it down a little bit. Let's kick it off all the way. The eye of the tornado. Ooh. And then let's kick it full blast. Wow, things are heating up. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Why do I want to put my finger in there? I can, it goes almost all the way to the bottom looking down at that little tube. Let's put the cloud and sound effects on. I mean, yeah, I think I know about tornadoes now. Enough of this. Let's use it for its real purpose now. Okay, to start with a low calorie tornado cocktail, we're gonna add some rot gut plastic jug vodka. About that much. Some Key West lime juice. That's a little more than normal, but uh, we want to see the color twirl around. And then some club soda, which I'm honestly worried about because it's carbonated. So let's start this tornado going again. A little bit low. Ooh. All right. Can it handle going all the way? 
to simulate the cow and tractor, we're going to add some mini ice cubes. Ooh, it does not like those. Let's kick it down a little bit. That's better. And the goal here is to... I'm trying to talk. The goal here, obviously, is to uh, drink it while it's on, right? All right, ice cubes working, let's go. That is delicious and satisfying and noisy. Solid cocktail, low in calories, low in sugar, aside from obviously the alcohol. This thing has plenty of uses. It's gonna get a lot of use in my home. You know, obviously I, it took me only about, you know, a minute to learn about tornadoes, but it's still something that I'm gonna use all the time now. Delicious. So the Scientific Explorer Tornado Maker does a great job of displaying what a tornado is. However, as a toy, I don't think a kid would play with it much. It's more of like a classroom teaching device, like bring it out for one week when you guys are studying weather and this and that. As far as the rating goes as a learning device, I'd give it a three out of five. It's definitely useful, but not useful again and again and again. As far as the function of using it as a cocktail mixer, it doesn't have the blending properties I'd want, like what you get from a Margaritaville device. The plastic's just not strong enough to crush ice. Um, I'd give it honestly a two out of five in that category, but uh-oh, looks like another storm's rolling in. Whoa, I'm getting swept away. Be sure to subscribe and like and and comment and uh, you could donate on Patreon. That would help me out. Anyway, this has been How's That Thing.